Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Double Cube, and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. And uh, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys something so super cool. We're gonna be learning to do the Netflix animation in Photoshop and not After Effects or Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas, any other cool animation software. We're gonna be using the animation uh, techniques over here in Photoshop to create it. And I'm gonna be showing you guys only one letter because it's gonna take me forever to show you every little single letter. But I'm gonna be doing the letter N because it's the, it is the toughest letter among all the other letters in the name, Netflix. So without further ado, let's jump in right into Photoshop and get started. By the way, before we start off, I just wanted to show you the animation. So the animation is gonna look something like this. So here is a blank, uh, you know, like a, this is like a picture of the Netflix logo, which I got from Google. So I'm gonna zoom in right here right now and uh, select my rectangular shape tool so that I can get the exact uh, shape and the length of the letter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag in something like that. All right, pretty cool. And I'm gonna change the color, so let's click on the color and uh, click to, oh, okay, uh, sorry, we need to select the color and then what's happening, all right. Uh, oh yeah, so we wanna go and get the eyedropper tool and then select the color. Um, maybe I'm gonna choose a little dark color, like, and then okay, so something like that. Um, actually, let me just go ahead and select the old color, you know, to be honest. So that's what we have. Now I'm gonna close this up and uh, with the layer, so I'm gonna press Ctrl J on my keyboard to duplicate it and hold down Shift and Alt and uh, drag it over to the side. So you're gonna hold down Alt and then Shift, which is gonna make a copy. And I'm gonna get rid of the Netflix layer because I don't need it. And uh, this is what we have. Now I'm gonna rename this to left uh, because we're gonna be needing the naming of, and I'm gonna rename this to right uh, so we can easily differentiate it. And I'm gonna make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl J for that. And I'm gonna name it uh, middle. Yeah, uh, middle, oops, M-I-D-D-L-E, okay. And I press Ctrl T on my keyboard to transform it and right click and choose skew. And I'm gonna zoom in pretty close over here. You guys wanna be pretty exact with this. Uh, I'm gonna hold down this middle anchor point and just hold down shift and drag it over to the leftmost side so that it touches the right one. All right, just there, sorry about that, okay and uh, you know, just place it you know, almost as exact as you can and then hit enter and transform it to apply the transformation. And there we go, we have ourselves the cool letter N. I'm gonna select all of that and uh, right click and uh, actually group it by pressing Ctrl G and vertically and horizontally align it. So there we go, vertically and horizontally aligned. And uh, now we can start off with the animation. But before we wanna add a little bit of drop shadow uh, you know, to give the cool effect that is there in the logo. All right, uh, so right there. So I'm gonna go and create a new layer on top of the left layer, right click and choose create clipping mask. All right, and then I'm gonna press B to get the brush tool and I make sure that my hardness is set to zero. And let's go ahead and just do a little bit of brushing. So, you know, we get a nice brush. Okay, that's pretty too harsh. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing for the right one also. And uh, let's create a new layer on top of the right. Right click, choose, okay, right click, choose create clipping mask. And uh, this time we just want to do it on the other side, like so, and oops, okay, that's too much. That's, that's looking much better. I think that's fine, that's, that's looking great. That's, that's, that's good, that's looking good. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is start animating it. So before we do that, I'm gonna select all those copies of that and move it uh, outside the group, okay? And we can delete the group object because we don't need it. And yeah, so another thing we wanna go and select the two layers and press Ctrl E to merge them. And let's do the same thing for the right layers also. Press merge layers. And uh, there we go, it's looking good, that's looking cool. So as you can see, we have three separate pieces and we're ready to do the animation. So let's go to window and choose a timeline. And uh, that's gonna bring up our timeline editor and just click to create video timeline. And there you go, we have our three layers. Now I'm gonna go and rename this because they got renamed uh, when I merged them with the clipping mask layer. And excuse me, so that's gonna be right and that's gonna be left. Okay, looking good. So the first one is we wanna rasterize the middle layer because we don't want it to be a smart object. It can be a smart object, but that's up to you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, with each layer selected, I'm gonna click on that button to create a layer mask. So I'm gonna create a layer mask for all of these three layers. 
Okay, so and then we can also click on those that chain button to unlink it. I'm going to tell you why in you know in a bit when which you'll probably understand. Okay, so now the animation is going to start from the top to bottom for the middle one. And you know, after that, it's going to go with the left one. And then the last part is the right one comes up. So it's all going to happen, you know, at the same time, almost at the same time, a couple of frames front and back. All right, so let's start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the middle one. So I'm going to hide the mid right layer and the left layer. And uh, we're going to go and create, select the rectangular marquee tool and create a very close and, you know, a simple uh, rectangular uh, marquee and make sure you have you are selecting the mask and once you make a selection uh, all you got to do is make sure you're on the marquee tool right click and choose fill and you can choose the foreground color background color make sure whatever you're choosing is black and as you can see it creates a black color outline over the marquee which you made but it made it on the original logo uh, so you want to select the layer mask this time so you know the layer mask you can see it's selected because it has those white lines right click and then choose fill and then click on ok and that's going to fill it up now even though it's black if i right click and choose disable layer mask you can actually see my original layer is still there and uh, that's the beauty of the layer mask so i'm going to right click and choose uh, enable layer mask again uh, enable layer mask there we go and uh, right so now let's start animating it so I'm on the zero frame I'm gonna go change the frame rate by going to um, corner frames uh, where is it yeah there we go timeline frame rate and set this to 30 and click on okay so it's 30 frames per second that we have and let's get started so I'm gonna go and click on the stopwatch beside the layer mask position and that's gonna make a keyframe and I'm gonna move five frames forward so one two uh, one two three four oops five there we go and then I'm gonna click on the layer mask which is already selected and I'm gonna hold go ahead and move it down by holding down shift right so just click hold down shift and then slowly move it down yeah like slowly move it down like very slowly uh oops okay, careful uh make sure that when you move it down you stop moving it as soon as the complete logo is filled because you don't want it to be too far away or else it's going to go ahead and kind of just um you know like make the animation super fast which is what we don't want so let's actually go and just check it out once let's see how it looks um there we go that's looking pretty good let me just zoom out again there we go not bad looking good uh, so I'm gonna go on the third f the three second mark and I'm gonna switch on the uh, eyeball for the left layer left logo make sure you're gonna click on the layer mask same process create a rectangular selection over the entire logo and then we can go ahead and uh, okay then select it uh, right click uh, make sure you're selecting the marquee tool and you can also click on alt and delete to fill it up with the black color all right um, in case your foreground color is set to black and uh, I'm going to turn on the uh, bring down the keyframes over there and on the three frame mark set a keyframe for layer mask position all right and then now we're going to move five frames forward again so five plus three is eight and hold down shift and just bring these down a little bit almost there we go all right so just stop it as when the logo is finally revealed all right and good now uh, we can do the same thing for the other one, but let's just check how it looks. All right. So as soon as, so now on the five frame mark, I'm going to go and do the animation for the right side. So select the layer mask, select the marquee tool, create a simple, nice mask like so. Uh, okay. And then you can hold alt delete to fill it up with the black color and press control D to deselect to bring down the keyframes. Click on the keyframe on the layer mask position move five frames which is going to be at frame 10 all right frame 10 and uh, hold down shift and uh okay it's not happening okay hold down shift and then move it slowly upward like oh careful be careful so slowly and uh, we're going to stop it as soon as the animation is finally revealed oh there we go okay. um almost there okay and there we go we have our animation done and dusted so let me just uh, zoom out back pressing control zero and uh, let's play this and there we go awesome looking really good i bet it's, it's gonna look amazing if i did it for all the letters or uh, you know and the complete animation it's gonna look dope um uh i'm gonna click on the loop playback don't know why it's okay loop playback 
and uh, the scissor not quite sure what it is and this okay this up appears to be a transition um, anyways let's just click on the play button and watch it again wow it looks so good I really like it I'm gonna bring the the, the timeline end uh, the end set and bring it over to the 10 second frame and uh, let's just play it once again uh, play all right okay that's too fast so we kind of have to move this over a little bit over to the right side to give it a little bit of breathing space now let's play it again all right so anyways that's pretty much it on creating this uh you know this netflix text animation in photoshop hope you guys really enjoyed it um if you did uh you know feel free to show me what you guys did by tagging me on instagram or on twitter my links will be in the description and uh thank you again for watching don't forget to leave a like and i'll see you guys in my next video so till then take care and bye-bye.